All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the grand finals of the monthly checkup for June 2024. I'm Leviticus, and I'm joined by my good friend, Betty B. Betty, how are you doing? Oh, well, you know, after a wonderful game with all of the players, actually, today, um, especially Pan Ban, who's in here, um, I'm looking forward to this match. Hopefully he can bring that heat that he brought to my match uh, against Snipe. <laughs> Absolutely. Honestly, it's been... I say it's a banger every month, but this time I really mean it. My goodness. Uh, I I can't cannot wait to get started. We're not going to waste anyone's time here. We are going to get into this all Canadian, which is also super exciting, by the way. I'm a little biased. We're going to get right into it. I'm going to get these players going, and uh, we are going to be off very shortly, and I cannot wait. If this is uh, anything like some of the other games we've seen tonight, it's going to be uh, <laughs> going to be a heart stopper, if anything. Now, I did miss, since I was playing in the tournament, I did miss the first time these guys met, um, because Snipe is the one who sent Pan Band into the loser bracket to begin with, so um, I I wonder how that match went. Can you speak a little bit to that, Love? Uh, so, my it was a 3-0 result for Snipe, and my impression was definitely, wow, uh, just, uh, you know, he, he really ran him over, I would say, but I think Pan Band has... Uh, he's going to be able to adjust to that now that he's sort of seen what he's playing against. And uh, I think this one might be a little different. I think he will yeah. find a way to, uh, to adjust here. I wonder who allowed him to warm up. <laughs> no, kidding, kidding. No, but um, something to note of these two uh, players, Snipe is one of the people that we um, have seen in these monthlies go the distance and actually uh, win uh, the past few tournaments. Not last month, but prior months. So um, it's He's looking to get back that champion belt. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Uh, honestly, I don't. I'm not. Usually, I have someone I'm rooting for one way or the other. I'll admit it. I'm a little unbiased most of the time. But I think in this case, uh, I don't even care who wins. I just hope we get a good match. And so far, it looks like that is what's happening here. Snipe is taking a, a sort of an early lead here. But honestly, if we've seen it in this tournament more than ever, uh, comebacks are definitely possible. You yourself have pulled off some pretty miraculous comebacks tonight, and so have some of the other players we've seen on stream. So, uh, still anyone's game, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so, into these matches, um, Snipe has been sending over uh, quite a few combos, but also at a slower pace than I, I normally see from him. And so, um, a lot less setups and kind of playing the more speed route, it looks like. Uh, yeah, I would say that the both this game from both players already looks very different than what we saw um, in, when they played in Winners Finals. Um, first of all, both of them are very high up on the board, keeping things very even. I felt like Snipe really ran away with things uh, very quickly in all three rounds that they played earlier. Um, but now it seems like things are, are much more even, and I think that might be in part due to some of him and Richard's adjustments. I say that, but then uh, Snipe has been non-stop sending combos right back over to Pan Band, so he might have heard me and it was like, oh, you want to see combos? I'll show you combos, Betty. <laughs> uh, honestly, I think part of it, too, is just having to play against an opponent like Pan Band. It's, it's just, mm -hmm. you know, this guy got to the, got to the very finals uh, to play against Swong in the, last November in Columbus. He is uh, a huge player. It, it, playing against him is not like playing against your average player, so... It's going to be different. You're going to feel a little uh, off your game. Like, you have to play around, you know, the other player more, I would say. Mm -hmm. So I think that's been contributing a lot to it. Wow, in just a seamless way, I've been watching as uh, Snipe kind of just make his his moves. He knows exactly where he wants it to go and making the right plays, sending over a triple over to Pan Bam. Oh, no! Oh! oh, I think that may have been a misdrop. That was going to be game one for Pan Ban, and they're going to get right into it. Interesting top line, no red to speak of. Both of them find the same combo with their unusable red, so that was incredible. Wow. I, I just, I'm still processing what happened in the last game, but <laughs> we are on to uh, Crown 2, yes, and Snipe making a wonderful push over to the left to get that all the way over, and that takes a lot, like... And his maneuverability at the top line is next to none. 
yeah, at this point, uh, this, I feel like this has been a little closer to what we've seen before, where Panban taking uh, routes to some bigger combos, but getting blocked before he's the opportunity to really execute it, and it had, I did feel like it cost him, and uh, in this case, though, it looks like he uh, is finally able to get to his, uh, oh boy, that was really risky, and call him five there, but he's gonna take it down, and then I think he will get this T. Oh no! That looks like a misdrop for Panban Richard, and Snape is gonna yep. punish it to the maximum! That's gonna be a top out on the other side! One to one! This is just back and forth. They're like throwing these punches, and you like feel it coming through the screen. You can feel the aggression, and and it's on both sides. Like, they both want this really bad. Oh, for sure. There's aggression and there's nerves. I'm seeing, I think, a very early misdrop from Snipe in the opening here, and uh, I really think it must just be something to do with uh, with nerves. This is very unlike both the players, some of the things we've seen them do here, so I think it's maybe getting to them having to play mm -hmm. in the finals like this. But one thing we know about uh, Panban is he's like, he's made for competition. Like, he, this isn't his only um, game that he, you know, does at this level. And so uh, he's used to bringing it when it matters the most. And that's what you can see on, on display here. Absolutely. That's not the sort of thing that you can learn easily. And uh, if Dr. Mario is the only thing that you've played in, then... You may not be used to playing in tournaments like this. We have, I mean, well, mm -hmm. monthly's been going for a little while now, but um, you don't always get the chance to play, you know, on stream and in finals for, I mean, not that there's too high of stakes here. There's nothing really on the line of the bragging rights, but that matters to people. That's enough. Yeah, that's yeah, enough. That's why that's enough. And, and it's just the idea of, of getting a tournament win against someone that you've never beaten. Like, the pressure feel, can, feels on. People put this kind of pressure on themselves, and it, it definitely affects your play. Yeah, catch me on a on a fight paid friendly uh, day, you know, and and it, it will be a completely different story. But um, <laughs> now I like what. Oh, look at this by Pan Band. That was a quad sent over to Snipe, and you know Snipe's gonna send a, a combo back, but not many uh, setups that he has on his side. Absolutely, yeah. Snipe's. Uh, well, sorry. Excuse me. Pan Band's. Uh... Big quad combos when he does get to resolve Nintendo really cleared a lot of space on his board. Um, unfortunately, if they ever get blocked off, it uh, it's mm -hmm. ends up constraining his board quite a bit. So a lot of risk reward going on there. But it's very place he seems to be very comfortable with uh, and uh, knows how to navigate around those situations when he doesn't quite make it to the combo. So he's very strong in that regard. And we've seen that a lot tonight. And I think we've talked about this before, uh, especially with the way Pan Man plays, is he kind of likes being at that top level. He, um, you know, he's said before that uh, he can see more pills because he's dropping them faster. And so um, he likes playing at that top level if he uh, gets the right pills to allow him to do that. Absolutely. I, I mean, it certainly is a double-edged sword because of, with the faster pill drop speed, Ooh. definitely comes danger. It's like something like the danger that Snipe's in right now, but he finds yes. an amazing double at the top, just full horizontal, and I think he is going to start to recover here in the center. That blue garbage in column 6 for Snipe, though, is going to be a real problem. They both have similar boards where they're just locked off from one side or another, and just trying to dig in, but having huge... Oh, that is so risky what Snipe just did, but he it paid off. Got a drop combo here, to, followed by another one to Pan Ban. Oh wow, the recovery, both of these players are just playing incredible. Oh, I like that tuck. Yep, I like that, that tuck. tuck. He's, gonna, mm -hmm. he's gonna take down his uh, column 6 and 7, make a little more space, and Pan Pan is gonna make some combos and pretty much fill it back up again. <laughs> But yeah, what that space allows for him to do is actually clear from underneath, which, you know, you think, oh, well, it's just another clear, but it, it allows you to drop things down when you're maybe feeling the pressure and give yourself, yourself time. And, and um, oh, I love that myth or that recalculation by Snipe in order to get that over. And look at this clear. Wow, a charity triple for Snipe. Mm -hmm. That's what he needs to come back from this. I don't think it's completely out of reach for him yet, but he is going to have to find a way to break through this garbage and do so uh, while stun locking and, and sending garbage back to Pan Ban because he, he's just going to have to make something happen in order to uh, to make him come back here. I mean, like the stun lock he just did, and it continues And, and here it comes. <laughs> As I say, it's so it shall be. And here he goes. 
Handman is uh, defending well, though he's still making the combos here. He does have a very dangerous call in five right now. I think he is setting up to undertuck these reds so that he can drop that down and make a combo to boot. But he needs a red in order to do it. Looks like he will get there. Oh, doesn't take it. Decides to wait it out for the T. Excellent! Use of the next box there for Panban Richard. Mm-hmm. Sometimes forgoing those, uh, those combos that you see right away, um, while risky, because they could be blocked. Mm -hmm. No! Oh, that's gonna be an oh. unfortunate misdrop for Panban. We're gonna have to see if he can recover from this. That snipe is he can drop really oh, not gonna let him do it easily. I think he wanted that red over to drop those. He's needing a red to drop this to get a combo here, but that's gonna leave a lot of trash on his board. How is oh, he gonna recover no. from this? And I don't know if he's gonna be able to. He's gonna need the right pill sequence, I think, in order to pull it off. That's certainly not gonna help. That's gonna be another top out. Snipe is one game away from reclaiming his weekly, ch or his monthly checkup championship crown. We gotta get no one so back in here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, unfortunate, uh, unfortunate absence from uh, the usual, the usual suspects in the tournament. But um, I'm sure she'll be back as soon as she can. Oh, Pia Man definitely had to burn some pieces there uh, just so he could get under, um, under this board. Oh, but blocked again by Snipe. Oh, he needs. Hey man, unfortunately dropped his setup. He's gonna go for it, the T now there though, and it's gonna go. drop oh, okay. into a quad here. So that will open things up, but he hasn't gotten out of this unscathed. He still has a lot of mess to clean up on the right side of the board here. Hopefully he is he is finding combos to do it though, and suddenly it's not looking so messy after all. Yeah, but he had to burn a lot of pills at the beginning. He did, he but Snipe is looking very colony. dangerous on his side of the board. The center is really starting to stack up oh. here. And he does not have a lot of combo opportunities. Oh, that's oh, wow. the garbage killer! He is gonna find a little space on the left side, but he is really fighting against the clock here. He's oh, got to clear this out now. Wow. Yep. And just and like that, it looks like he's he's back yeah. in it. Yeah, we're back to playable again. Man, I hold my breath during those times because those are when it matters the most of how you play this game and jeez. Yeah, just so everyone, combo. just so everyone watching is aware, when we stop talking in those situations, we can't breathe. Just to be clear. That's about it. <laughs> oh, the booth. My snipe is sending over a ton of combos, but I really like Pan Van's level board. Um, he he really brought this back um, and cleaned up that column eight. Oh, look at that. Oh, these guys are absolutely fighting. So, this being this far into the game and still seeing both players so high at the top of the board is incredible. Neither one of them is missing a step here. And any anytime someone happens to fall behind, they are bringing it right back. This is incredible play. I like the delay on um, Cambion's side to make that better combo, I think. Um, here, here's another one. But Snipe going right back. You can see that Snipe's wanting this red in column two, and he takes it here, a drop trip over to Pan Ban. And Pan Ban will combo him back. Two doubles straight. And another for him. <laughs> the setups of horizontals on Pan Ban's side, I, I've i never realized like how, how often he goes to a horizontal, and it really is... You know, it goes to prove that he, he can really see the whole board and see the whole picture. Um, but yeah, now a little bit congested though. He, he's needing to kind of get under this because now he's just getting empty clears, not really getting to the viruses. Mm -hmm. I think that is one of the weaknesses of Pan Ban Richard's play, if, if you can if you can call it that. Uh, he he certainly does seem to be sometimes a little hyper fixated on getting these setups and doesn't mm -hmm. really prioritize making uh, uh, making progress on the board when necessary. And uh, in those cases, you end up in spots like this where he's stuck at the top of the board while his opponent Snipe is is pushing ahead and, and getting further down the board. There, eventually, you do have to clear the board to to win the game unless you can combo hard enough to uh, to top your opponent out every time, but Snipe is a little too tough of a opponent for that, I think. That was my, my cough, you know? Like, sorry about that. <laughs> oh, but yeah, Snipe is, uh, you know, kind of hindered on his, um, his right-hand side now, but look at this! 
Look at this job clear to clear Amazing. all that down. And another one that he has set up, but Pan uh, Van taking away that opportunity. Unfortunate. That would have been a huge uh, lead that uh, Snipe could have taken there to do that. Uh, he is going to bring the, these horizontals to bring it down a little bit, and now he is going to get another chance. And he's also setting up some, yeah, he's gonna get some horizontals, I think. Absolutely, yeah, <laughs> he's getting stun locked here, but he only uses a yellow blue to, to get a triple in columns one and two. Let's see if he takes That's it what here. I was... Oh, well, he's actually going to take another triple elsewhere first. And uh, we'll see if, see he, if takes he takes it here. It? He does, absolutely. Yep. And suddenly things are looking up for Snipe, and we'll have to see if uh, Panban can find a combo to... Uh, to get back into it, but uh, Snipe's gonna send several doubles in a row. It's really gonna mess things up for him. I don't know if he's got a quick setup to uh, to take the momentum back here. And, uh, you, if you ever see uh, these players basically have a pill that goes over two columns really quickly, it's it's called blinking, and and Pan Pan has been using it quite a bit, both to the right and to the left, and it's just fantastic to see how quickly they, that both of these players can just move, and it. It helps that they know where they want to put everything that they have. Mm -hmm. It can be difficult to see if you're not don't know exactly what to look for. Um, basically, if it looks like he's teleporting the pill across the screen, <laughs> that's that's it. That's it. Oh no! Handman is gonna give it up. That's it. Snipe is gonna take it three to one. GGs. Wow. I, I really thought he was uh, he was really in a good spot there. He was at least staying you know in in, uh, in a good space, treading water maybe, but really keeping it close uh, but I, I think he just couldn't uh, keep he couldn't keep it up any longer mm -hmm. and he's forced to top out wow um that was uh that was a good end to a good tournament i would say um congratulations to yeah. snipe uh, taking things back um betty how did you how did you feel about this tournament as a player as a commentator give us your take uh, well Gives your spicy I will take. tell you, you know, monthly checkup is something to always look forward to in the versus scene of Dr. Mario because, yes, we have our regionals that are coming up. Like, we have one coming up on the 30th in uh, Philadelphia, right? Pennsylvania? Or, no, uh, Las Vegas? I don't remember. I'm so bad at Philadelphia this. Philadelphia is know. coming up uh, not this weekend, but next weekend. Yes, that's weekend. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Actually, on my birthday. So that is the gift to me of getting to watch that regional. But if you can't make it to a regional, sign up for these monthly checkups because it is high-level play. People are at their best. They are trying their best. And I, I went the distance with at least three of my... Um, three of my matches and it, it was just great you can't get anything better than this unless you go to a regional in person absolutely yeah. I'm, I'm, all, I'm very happy to see the level of play that we get in these tournaments and how much it's grown since we started uh it's just been amazing and uh, i just have everyone to thank for that if you guys didn't put your hearts out there and give it your all and and come back every month begging for more i i don't think that we would still be here so uh thanks to everyone for that i i I can't express how grateful I am. Well, thank you very much, love. I'm going to let you do your, your wrap-up uh, discussion, and thank you all for letting me commentate. Absolutely. It's always fun. Absolutely, Betty. Thank you so much again for coming in for Grand Finals, coming in clutch. We, I, always, I always enjoy it, so thank you. Uh, absolutely. Bye, everyone. Take care. Have a good night. <laughs>